Are you ready for a turkey? Yeah. All right, let's do this. There's nothing like spring in the Midwest. The wildlife coming out to play. The insane weather patterns. Flowers going into full bloom. I hunted at the Huser National, Cloverdale, and even Scott. We decided we're gonna take this power line cut, get on a high point, and see if we can uh, get anything strike off. I was fortunate enough to bag a few mushrooms this year also this beautiful Tom. So go ahead and sit back and relax and enjoy the show and I'll show you how it all went down. I parked up by the silos and then made a long walk around all the way to the point where I made my setup. I just freaking got one. I tell you, I have put some work into this. I've come to this property three times. One time early in youth season, didn't have nothing going on here. Came out here a second time, I had, I believe this gobbler, and I don't know if he had a hen or what, but he just was not coming. This time, he was set up way on the other side of the woods, something totally different. I don't know if he just didn't have hens or what. And I kept outside call, sucked him right in. He started responding right away and he just kept on coming. I watched him pop out down here at this end. And I set up right over here and he did not like that. Jake decoy boys, I'll set up right back in there. I'm gonna show you my spot. Yeah. Set up right here. Oh, kept outside cold, got her done. That bad dog right there. Sucked them in. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
So my truck is up there by those silos, way out there. I walked in this morning and I took this long walk all the way around to the bottom, this little ditch right here, came into this point of this woods, walked down to right over here, you can see my tree where I was set up at, and uh, he was actually roosted way over in there. Typically, I've noticed him roosting right over here. I heard him gobble and responded to him and got him fired up and he kept gobbling and moving this way closer and closer to where eventually he popped out right over here. 45, 50 yards from my decoys and game over. That's what happens when you just keep on keeping on. You can't give up out here. You got to keep going, keep getting with it. I'm down to my last day of turkey hunting here in Indiana. And it just happened like that. 7.15 in the morning. Easy peasy, dream come true. Appreciate you guys watching. You guys, you guys make all this possible. Hopefully you guys can learn something off this. Look forward to a lot more content with you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, share this video and subscribe. Kept Outside Productions has tons more content coming. Videos dropping all the time. We've got 50 edits already done and another 25 already in the books, ready to be finished up. We don't stop, we just keep on keeping on. That's what Kept Outside's about. What keeps you outside? Thanks for watching. What's keeping you outside?